So this is Floramax. Uh, let me get the uh, bag. Just dumped it in. The Carib C Floramax planted substrate. It was $18.99. Now I've had this tank laying around. I have 10 gallon tanks, things like that. This is just a fluval edge. I dumped all 12 pounds of the bag in it. It came with this little uh, bio magnet clarifier. This miniature dwarf hair grass. That's what's going to be in this tank. This one uh, culture, tissue culture of it. They claim that um, no snails and pest and disease free, so that's good. That's going to get planted. In here. <clears throat> so the plant was eight eight forty nine, I think. This was eighteen ninety nine for the floor max, and then I have this top fin light. And I use this on another tank that I grow Anubias in, and it works perfectly fine in a 10 gallon tank. And this is a five gallon tank. <clears throat> and this light was $18.99. So $18.99 for the substrate, $18.99. Dog's barking for the uh, light. And then $8.50 for the uh, plant, the hair grass. So all together, you're looking at less than $50 and it's, that's it. Totally low budget. That's all I'm doing. No CO2, no nothing special. That's all I'm going to do. So let me get some water in here. Um... filter on and the light lit and the turkey baster this is just something that I've over the years found is an amazing tool to have for your tanks just to pick stuff up sometimes or blow stuff off of things or prime little hang on back filters just like I'm doing right now you can see the tank is so cold I just used cold water to fill it that it's sweating but I don't know if you can see this but there's a decent current Okay, so one thing I want to show here is it's been it's only been about an hour and now the glass is actually a little bit foggy and I didn't clean this tank inside and out but it is really cleared up very well given that it's only been an hour and if I stick the tongs in and even disturb it so I've used scissors cut the top of the uh, hair grass culture off I'm using a paper towel because all the pros online use a paper towel. I'm not going to lie, uh, separating this is harder than I thought it would be. I also don't see like a green plant with hanging roots, which I kind of wanted to see. Let me see if you can get a decent look. So I'm just going to kind of bury this brownish end with the forceps and leave this greenish end sticking up. There, if you could see how I'm grabbing it, that's kind of brown and all that's green. I'm trying to do this one handed. <laughs> do that a few more times and try and fix things. Okay, so I split it up as small as I really could um, and planted them. Definitely didn't do a great job. Hopefully these things kind of fix themselves a little. Mm -hmm. 